Well, Jacksonville, get ready for your art experience to be taken to a whole nother level. If you know anything about Van Gogh, well, you can throw that out the window because beyond Van Gogh, the immersive experience is coming to town. And I have my friend Finn here who's going to give us all of the deep dive insights. So thank you for spending some time with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So people know Van Gogh, the paintings and stuff, but all of that's out the window, like I said before. This immersive experience is something a lot of people had no idea what to expect. It is quite different from a normal museum experience, though I would hang on to this knowledge of Van Gogh and put it to the test because you are going to see his work that you are familiar with, but in a whole different way. It's a whole new angle. It's a brand new perspective. It's never going to replace the aura of an original Van Gogh. Standing in front of one is just magical. But there's something phenomenal about just being able to walk into one and be inside the painting and having it move all around you, surrounded by his colors and his brush strokes. There's something quite unique about that, too. Oh, yeah. Well, we can throw the originals out the window because these young ones, they're just like, what? This is the new art? So the, actually, this is kind of bringing it full circle to you because, you know, they're like, oh, we know Van Gogh, we know art. But when you bring it to them in this way, it's definitely going to be more engaging, correct? It's going to be more accessible, I think, for a lot of people because I think museums can sometimes be a little bit intimidating or it's sometimes hard for a 21st century audience to just see how a 19th century artist is even relevant. And so this way, the work comes literally at you. It's coming to greet you. There's something that's easier in the access. But the point is really to develop a connection with the work that never is going to replace the museum experience. It's about adding more ways of experiencing art, not less. It's about widening that access to the art world. And it's about having different perspective of it. It is easier, but there's something, again, truly unique about the original. So it's really about combining this new approach allows you to literally go on a journey with the artist inside his work. The music is carrying you through different phases of his life. There's something so engaging about that. So it's really about developing that connection. Now, Paquin Entertainment, they're bringing this to Jacksonville and it's actually traveling around the country and the world. So thanks to them for putting that together because there's over like 300 works, right? Yes, and Vincent painted over 850 paintings. If you add the watercolors, the sketches and everything, it's about 2,000 pieces. So it was really about selecting those 300 pieces that will allow this journey through his work from the beginning when he's learning. It's much darker. Then he gets to Paris. It's just a brightness of the Impressionists. And then he gets to the south of France and it's this explosion of color until Auvers sur Oise, the last place he lived in, where it's just pure movement. So really a this journey through his brush strokes, through his work, through this this quest towards light and color. So it's really, really 300 well-chosen pieces. Of course, people will see what they expect to see. It would be cruel to do an experience like this and not include Starry Night, not include the sunflowers, the irises, but there are also a lot more to discover, hopefully, and yeah, get to have a wider understanding of his body of work. All right, so I've been waiting for this for at least six months, but I think I've been hearing about this for longer. So it actually opens September 16th. It runs all the way through November 6th. It's going to be the uh, at the Immersive Art Space, which is over on Beaver Street, for those that don't know. Uh, do you know ticket information? How do people get that? Of course, everything is on the website. All of the tickets information, tickets are timed. So you do have to get them in advance because they fly pretty quickly. Everything can be found on VanGoJacksonville.com. All right. Well, I will be front row, but I'm going to be slow walking because I really want to feel all of it. So thanks for hanging out with it, with us today, and uh, I look forward to the being beyond Van Gogh, the immersive experience. Well, thank you. I hope you'll enjoy it.